Hi folks, I had a rare, quick, quiet moment here at a show that I'm doing in Florida. Um, it's March of 2023. I share that with you because as most of you know, we've introduced our Excalibur. I'm sitting on one right now. We introduced it, this will be the fourth year actually. Um, plenty of videos I made about it. They're still up, you can still see them from years ago about the geometry, what this bike does differently than other scooters how it has dual rear wheel drive and so on, really explaining the bike. Well, the bike has become wildly popular over the course of the last few years. And what I've seen happen and why I'm making this video is uh, started last year. I'm starting to see uh, mirror images or, well, copies and knockoffs of this bike show up in the marketplace. I'm seeing some in retail stores um, in different colors with a rubber deck. Folks, we don't make a bike with a rubber deck. Um, I actually saw a complete mirror image one with a metal deck in white. We don't make a white bike. Matter of fact, that particular company, they also copied our banner and their banner looks suspiciously like ours. There's a reason for it. They want you to think that it's a five-star scooter. That's why they copied our bike as well. Here's what happens. A lot of times people will see us at shows. They know our reputation of quality and, and customer uh, satisfaction, and they may not have the money right then and there. Because I get this question all the time, will you be at the Strawberry Festival or will you be at uh, this event or this home show? And we can't be everywhere, of course, so I would tell people no. Well, a week or two may go by and people may have the money and they go to one of these festivals. And along comes another, wow, hey honey, there's, there's that scooter we saw that we wanted. My gosh, hey, let's buy it now. These companies know this, that's why they show up at these events, okay? Um, if had the customers or if you do a quick, quick search of the Better Business Bureau on these companies or their Google reviews, you'll find that they either have none or they're poorly rated. Now, most of them don't even have Google reviews. We've got five years worth, six years worth, I think. At any rate, how can you be a major operator but have no Google reviews? It's funny, I had a customer just yesterday, as a matter of fact, call me about another brand, one of the many. It says, well, how is yours different than this brand? And I, of course, said, sir, we've been doing this a long time. It's a copy of our bike. Check the Google reviews, check the BBB, etc." And he says, you know, it's funny you mention that because I did that. He said, yeah, they weren't rated very well by the uh, Better Business Bureau. They weren't accredited. By the way, if a company's not accredited, it's a red flag. Obviously, if they have a poor rating or have a no rating, it's a red flag. If they don't have Google reviews, years worth, it's a red flag on that topic. Anyway, let me get back to my story. The fellow says, yeah, and the guy told me, I asked him, why don't you have any Google reviews? Here was what he was told. He, the guy said, well, we sell, you know, hundreds at a time to various distributors, and that's why our bikes don't have Google reviews, because we don't do retail directly. Okay, wait a minute. So you sell hundreds at a time to retailers who I assume are selling them to customers, but none of those customers ever wrote a review about you on Google? Over those hundreds of bikes, good, bad, or otherwise, folks, it's impossible. It's a scam, okay? Here's another thing. I'm trying to think of all the scams that are going on now. Um, if a company shows you that they have five-star reviews, like four or five of them from the best scooters of 2003 that have a basket.com.org.net, there's no such website it's them okay you can start a website for 30 bucks it's a scam so a way to protect yourself is very very simple this is like a game of whack-a-mole for us we're trying to not only protect our brand but protect you the consumers because these guys doing a bad job i can't tell you how many times i have had people come to my booth with a bike that looks similar to our raptor which we've had for years this thing isn't working this thing blah 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 and i'm like sir it's not our bike of course it's your bike, it's black, it's got three wheels. Sir, it's not our bike. Five minutes later, oh, it's not your bike. Yeah, it's not our bike, okay? So I'm trying to protect our brand as well as you, the consumer. Check the BBB, check the Google reviews. If they don't have a year's worth of reviews, then it's a scam, okay? They're not a major operator, it's impossible. So I wanna share this with you so that you don't get taken in. Um, because they know what they're doing. You're not a scooter expert. You were at a fair, you were intrigued by the five-star scooters perhaps, and perhaps gratefully wanted to buy them, but couldn't at the moment. Well, you come to another event and you see, oh, there it is, honey. It's a three-wheeled scooter with a metal deck. And yeah, that's the banner, that's them. That's what they want you to think. So at any rate, I hope this helps. God bless, take care.